Good morning to some, good afternoon to most of your man's Earl back day 82. And we're going to keep with this theme for a couple of days of a billionaire. And one of the goals here is to get you to strive for the highest level of dreams, goals, and aspirations that you can. Uh, there's no use of you setting dreams, goals, and targets low because oftentimes uh, you get what you aim for. All right, and so today, day 82, today's 3 2018 3 2018 billionaire real estate secrets, okay? I'm going to give you four uh, real estate secrets that uh, we've put into play here uh, as a way to uh, create multiple sources of income. So I'm going to give you four. I have my notes right here, so if I glaze over, uh, it's because I've got my notes here. So four billionaire real estate secrets that you need to put in play. Uh, even if you are, quote, unquote, an experienced uh, real estate person, re investor, you can always learn something. That's a mark of a good student, a good investor. You're always looking for the next key, the next gem to make it happen. So once again, day 82, 323, 2018, billionaire real estate secrets. The first thing is uh, that billionaires or people who are successful in business very rarely speculate. Okay. What do I mean by that? Uh, there's a difference between speculating and investing. Okay, there's a piece of land over here, and there's nothing on it, a bunch of trees, there's a river or whatever, and a person looks at that and says, that could be great, uh, that could be a great residential, that could be great uh, multiple uh, unit, a multi-living, if you will. That's speculating, okay? You don't know if that is going to come out to be successful. I've been involved on both sides, and I've lost uh, on speculation, okay? Uh, that's speculating. You see a piece of land or maybe you see a, uh, you know, a, a torn out house or you see some dilapidated housing. You say to yourself, well, maybe if I rehab that, that could possibly net out this, okay? And I'm not saying there's not room for speculation, but understand the difference between speculating and investing, okay? That's pure speculation. You don't know. When you invest in something, you have a form of return that is already predetermined and there's already a proven formula or a proven track record, okay? So for example, uh, you see a house that is performing badly. So there's a tenant in it and the guy wants to get out. Maybe he's trying to retire and you see the house say, well, you know what? It's netting right now, 200 bucks a month, but there's a tenant in it. So the house is performing. So if I purchase that house and invest in that house, I could increase the rent. OK, that's investing. All right. So the first tip, billionaire real estate secrets, day 82, is that's an investment. It already has a rate of return, may not be as high as you want to, but there is a return off of that. OK, point number two is this. Start with what you're familiar with. I have a friend, a close associate who uh, they're into uh, apartments or or multi-unit investing. OK, that was that's that's not me. Okay, I prefer, I'm used to residential, single family residential. So when you're going to get into real estate, uh, start out with what's easier or what's closest to you. So if you have a family or a person or a friend that's already doing multi-unit or uh, apartments or things of that nature, duplexes or doing fourplexes, okay, start out with what's close to you. I recommend personally starting out with single family houses. Why? Because it's easier to manage, okay, easier to understand, okay, easier to purchase, OK, then other types of properties. All right. So secret number two, billionaire real estate secrets. Start out with something that you're familiar with or I highly recommend single family residential. OK, now let's get into the meat and potatoes. Point number three, uh, you heard the uh, the lie, I guess you could say that real estate's all about location, location, location. All right. That is only partly true. Because here's the reality, all right? Uh, typically, you get higher rates of return in less desirable parts of the country, okay? And that's very interesting because what happens is you're able to go in and purchase property and real estate, whether it be commercial or residential uh, or raw land, for less than what the current quote-unquote market value assesses it at. So, for example, make it numbers easier for you. When you look for double-digit returns or what's considered double-digit cap rate, all right? So you purchase a piece of property for $100,000, 
and then you're able to charge a thousand dollars a month. Okay, that is a twelve percent return on a hundred thousand dollar investment. Okay, double digit cap rate. Okay, that's what you look for in real estate. You don't look for uh, the normal, you know, five to seven percent. That's great. Okay, that's that's great if that's what you're on or that's what you've been taught. But we're talking about billionaire real estate secrets. Okay, you look for double digit cap rates. You don't look for double digit rates of return. Okay, double digit. If you invest a hundred thousand, look to get back. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 percent on your investment, which takes work because you have to do the research and you have to do the numbers. OK, so double digit cap rate return. And here is another secret that people completely miss. How do you find good tenants? Here it is. You ready for this billionaire secret? OK, instead of shying away from people that have pets, instead of shying away from people who have kids, OK, typically people who have pets are more stable. OK, and people who have children are less likely to move more often. All right. Now, do you have issues with deposit or do you have issues with damage? Yes. And that's why as a business owner, you charge a higher fee for deposit because you do present them with the scenario of, listen, we know you have pets. We know you have children. There's a higher rate of damage. I'm not saying you're going to be damaging, but there's a higher rate of percentage that damage will take place. So therefore, you can charge a higher fee for damage deposit. But if you're looking for stability, look for people that do have pets. Look for people that have kids because those people are less likely to move all over the place. Why? Because they know it's harder to find real estate that where you, they are readily accepted and welcomed. OK, so four real estate billionaire secrets. Number one. Don't speculate. Look to invest. Number two, start out with what you're familiar with. If it's residential, go residential. If it's uh, multi-unit apartments, duplexes, quadplexes, start with that. I recommend residential, single family, easier to purchase, easier to manage. Point number two, look for double-digit cap rate return. You spend a hundred thousand, look to get eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars back on that, which is you're going to charge a thousand. You're going to charge eleven hundred. You're going to charge twelve hundred bucks a month for that piece of property, and then the fourth piece of billionaire real estate secrets is look to rent to people with pets and people that have children, families, okay, less likely to move and bounce around on you. This is your man's Earl, day 82, billionaire real estate secrets. We'll be back at it. God bless. www.deuceswild22.com brought to you by Gold Rush, Smoke and Aces, Dead Man's Hand. www.deu C-E-S-W-I-L-D 22.com. God bless.